So I showed you how to create files and to figure out where they are in your computer. Now we're going to cover deleting files. So how do we delete files? Uh, maybe I want to delete this tacos are okay. So name one tacos are okay, name two tacos are good, new file. All right, I want to delete the tacos are okay. I don't want okay tacos, I want good tacos. So how do we do that? So we create a new file. I have two files going on here. So I should probably give them, oh no, now things are getting complicated. Build them in the right order. All right. We're going to delete file one and keep file two. So I'm just going to call these file two, file two, file two, two, two. Okay, so file two corresponds to the tacos are good. All right, tacos are okay. I want to delete that file. I don't want that around. Now, it's important to remember what I've highlighted here are just the string names. They're not the files. The files are right here. So what I want to do is delete file one. So we're going to see what file one can do, file one dot. And sometimes these other methods are very useful. I want to delete. So right here, we'll read this, deletes the file or directory. Now, in Java and many, and many other languages, files and directories are treated in a very similar way. The main difference is files usually have some content you can look at, and directories have other directories, also known as files, inside of them. This method can throw an IO exception when the file cannot be deleted. So that has to do with the uh, access properties of the directory or that the file is stored in and the file itself can have its own permission permissions, but usually they'll be the same. Okay, so there's a couple other exceptions that could get thrown. So let's just go ahead and do file dot delete or file one dot dot if I could spell. All right, so that should take care of tacos are okay. And if you want, you could put a print statement here. Uh, the way I'm gonna check this is I'm gonna go over to my file access. You see uh, tacos, I'm hitting refresh. So this is the current version. Tacos are okay is right here. And I'm thinking this should get deleted. Now we're gonna run this. The output, the printed output will look the same. And now we're gonna go back to that directory hit refresh, and you're going to see tacos are okay, no longer here. So that's how to delete a file. And I want to warn you to be very careful with what you delete. Notice when I ran this, there was no confirmation box that popped up. It just deleted the file. If you're working inside NetBeans, I believe you only have access to the directory your folder is in or your project is in. But be careful, this Java file, I could actually write code to delete this Java file, which may not be a good idea to do. Uh, and it would be inside the source packages, which I think is SRC, and then a couple other directories. You can check it out under files, actually. It's probably a better way to browse for our purposes here. All these that I'm opening up, these are all folders nested inside. So if you did, and... I could delete this file if I really wanted to. Uh, that would be a fun exercise. Maybe I'll make another video. You do want to be careful though, if you're going to start deleting stuff, you may really screw up your project because you can actually delete Java files. You could delete other files too. Uh, delete things out of here. So you want to be careful about what you delete. So I generally recommend delete things that you explicitly created. So I created these files right here, and I, therefore I'm okay deleting them. I would not recommend you delete files you did not create. If you're running on the command line, you really have too much power in a sense because you can actually delete system files depending on how you're running your Java code. And it gets even worse if you're running in C or uh, C++, you could delete basically every file on your computer and then have a serious problem where you don't have an operating system anymore. So I just want to 
warn you, just be cautious when you're deleting files. The same thing is true later when I show you how to write to files because you can overwrite information that's really important. So you want to be very careful whenever you're modifying, which is either deleting or writing information. Opening and reading files, generally pretty safe, uh, but deleting and writing or modifying files can be dangerous and you do want to be careful.